Now, more facts have emerged on the ongoing probe of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, by the House of Representatives Committee on Niger Delta Affairs in Abuja. The committee is probing an alleged misappropriation of about 8.5 billion naira belonging to the commission by the Interim Management Committee between October of 2019 to May of 2020. One of the petitioners, Kola Wale Johnson, told lawmakers that the NDDC has been a cesspit of corruption with officials diverting billions of naira into private pockets via contract racketeering and obnoxious initiatives. I want to assure you that the investigative hearing, as we said on the one, is not a witch hunt exercise. It's specifically designed to be able to give birth to a new Niger Delta of our dreams. The Niger Delta that will bring aspiration and hope, succor and solace to the yearnings of the great people of the Niger Delta. We must do justice to the history of our heroes past. So many of our leaders sacrificed their past in order to secure our today. History is on us to, for us to put in all our best today in order to secure the future of generations yet unborn. First, was beyond the approval limit of the management. Secondly, the director of project said on air that they were waiting for the presidential approval. That was when he was on air on the 26th of April. And that approval came on the 38th of April, which means that these contracts were awarded and paid for without approval. Osmos have later got additional payment um, on the 21st of, uh, sorry, on the 4th of uh, May. He got additional 1.646 billion, uh, uh, 1.646 billion, uh, 4th of May. Then on the 21st of May, he got additional 2.269 uh, billion naira. If you put these figures together, it comes to 4.553969714 billion. This is sad because people die in that area daily. The same water they are scooting, a lot of them drink from it. And some people sit in some office, pop it and pain, and wasting the money of the people. Therefore, I challenge the party because he has sold the dummy to Nigeria that everybody, including members of the National Assembly, are afraid and they are the ones pushing me to say that they are afraid of the forensic or the going on. I challenge him 